Hey guys, Jonathan here at Night Knowledge. The Suburbia Kickstarter by Bezier Games finally came in and I'm super excited to share it with my friends. Hats off to Bezier that showed us how a real Kickstarter is supposed to go, specifically with timely and consistent communications and delivering on time without much of a delay. My only criticism of the entire project was a video that they shared near the very end, which showed you how to put away all the components. It was a bit confusing and of poor video quality. So today's video will show you how to put everything away and will hopefully leave you with no questions. Let's get started. Okay, so we'll start off with the bottom tray. At the very top, we have the four player aids. Then in the top left, we'll start off with the, the Gen Con tiles and the Essen tiles right here. Then you have the collector's edition tiles on this side here and on this side over here. And you have as many goals as you can fit over here and over here. Then you'll put all the basic tiles uh, from the base game here. Uh, it will be marked underneath here which letter you should be using. But all the A's in this column, all the B's in this column, all the C's in this column, and you can put the one more round tile right here. Once you have all those in place, you can put up to five player boards on top right here. Once that's done, you can put the player boards on top. And then we're going to put the next thing on. Inside the trays, we have this. In the white tray, you'll have five heavy factories, community parks, and suburbs. You'll have all the uh, tokens, so like the skyscraper tokens, the uh, food tokens, the briefcase tokens, the money. Uh, I put the uh, metal coins in here. Uh, technically, there's no room if, if you use the uh, cardboard money, so uh, I, I just have that in a bag to the side. I don't think you should need it. You have the airplane or airport tokens. You have the um, Suburbia Inc. tokens and two car tokens for the two uh, car dealerships. So that's that specific tray. Cover it. And we'll take a look at the other tray now. So th in this tray, I'll just reveal what's underneath each one. So basically for five players, uh, you're going to have the three investment markers. You're going to have three investment markers in this corner right here. You're going to have 15 coins uh, for their starting money. So I put two, uh, two fives and uh, five ones right here. And then you have their player meeple to track their, their population. You have the star symbol there for the star expansion. Uh, you have the two trackers for your um, income and for your reputation. So you do the same for every single player. If you have additional players, you would put them in these, in these uh, trays over here. And then each player is going to receive a uh, suburb, co community park, and a heavy factory. So what they've done is you can then place them one of each on top right here. And then we will cover that. Like that. We're gonna get the next piece that goes on top of this. We'll put the circular market tray on top of that and it has a guide on top.
So this is the tricky part uh, that can feel weird when you're putting it on, when you're stacking it. Uh, notice how there's this little part that juts out on the circular part. What we're gonna need to do is we're gonna take this blue, this blue tray. So there's this blue tray here that goes on top of that. So where you see this, it aligns with that tower part right there. So you put it on top. It doesn't really feel like it fits very well, but this is the way it's supposed to go. And basically in this tray, we have some additional goals right here. Uh, we have the, this should be the night, yes, the nightlife expansion, the one with the uh, moon. The moon expansion ones are right here. And then in this tray right here, this is the Suburbia Inc. expansion because it has the uh, tie symbol. Uh, I'm actually gonna show you. It, it, tell, it always tells you at the bottom right here what it is. So C with the uh, kind of like the tie symbol. So you just place it down there. And right underneath here, you're gonna put all of the uh, bonuses and all the challenge tiles. And once again, it will tell you at the bottom because there's the symbol of the uh, reputation which matches the tile. And then you can put these tiles on top. You will put all the borders in this spot right here. And then in this spot right here, which I don't have it uh, right now, uh, you would put your tower and the first player marker. So let me grab it so you can take a look. Um, I haven't put it in there yet because it needs glue. It needs glue at the very top. Otherwise, it's, this, this comes out very easily. So technically this would go right here, but it doesn't want to fit right now. And I don't want to place it in there. So lastly, once that's done, we're going to put this last part on top. This tray. And then if we reveal the cover to this, so here, this is the star, the Suburbia star uh, ex expansion, denoted once again, C and the star. So all the C expansion tiles will be right here. And then some more expansion tiles here. So basically all the tiles in this top area is gonna be all star tiles and your additional star tokens right here and any uh, leftover uh, borders will go at the top. Once that's done, everything should be fitting inside of here right now. So as a recap, uh, this is how it's gonna go into the box. This will be the bottom tray. Once you've filled it up, you'll put the, uh, tr the point tracker board on top of it. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put these two trays on top. At which point you can then put the circular base or the market right on top of that. And then aligning this part, this part that sticks out with the blue corner. It'll go on top like that. And then all that would be left, the, the two instruction booklets that would go on top. And that would be everything fitting inside of your box. So that concludes today's video on where all components go and how the trays stack on top of each other for the Suburbia Collector's Edition. I hope it helped you out because nothing is worse than spending more time putting the game away than setting it up. 
Check out the rest of my channel for other videos on board games, video games, and tech. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Thanks for watching today, and I'll see you next time.